Look, Google is rolling out all these secret updates in the background for their own apps like Google Maps. And that's what we're talking about today. Three new features you really need to know about when it comes to your Galaxy Watch. And this, my friends, is for any Galaxy Watch as long as you have Wear OS installed. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, say again? No, no, hang on. No, <laughs> I'm testing the Google Maps, the offline capabilities for the Google Maps for the Galaxy Watch. And just so give me one second whilst i got your attention there's only one thing one thing i would ask you for and that is please subscribe to this channel this would help me out so much number one we have two new shortcuts for google maps in certain watch faces when you go into the info board for example and you look into complications you want to change the shortcuts we have two new shortcuts number one is show map and once you tap on it, it will basically go into your map right away in your Google Maps. That's complication, new shortcut, number one. Number two shortcut is search in Google Maps. Once you tap on it, you will basically be prompted to either speak and then you can search for the next hospital or gas station or new directions, whatever you want to do. But you can also have some text input. And these are the two new shortcuts you will find when you go into your complication or tiles section and want to add some something new which relates to google maps number two is the new google map tile on your galaxy watch now you have four new icons in the tile well technically you have five but let me explain the top two icons on the new tile will basically give you the option to either set up your home address and then you can have a quick navigation by just pressing on it or set up your work address or whatever address you feel like you want to have in there and then you can just tap on it and that will enable quick navigation the two bottom icons you will see here is basically one is the search function again you can do a voice search or you can do a text search it's up to you the one next to it that looks like a timer will get you into the main menu of Google Maps. And then on the bottom, technically number five icon, you can go straight into your maps. Number three, and that is probably the most significant change for me, and that is offline maps. So look, I have a Samsung Galaxy phone, so it may only work with Samsung Galaxy phones. I don't know, but it works for me. You update your Google Maps to the latest version on your phone, and then you will be able to download offline maps. You can do this by going into your location history and will automatically then, or you press the button and then you can download it, or you can even search for an area where you want to download that map. It could be the entire country you're living in, or you're traveling to, or just the city all of that is possible so that is step number one please make sure that you have the latest version of your google maps also installed on your galaxy watch once you have updated everything on your phone and you open the latest version of google maps on your galaxy watch it will basically tell you that you have offline maps available that will be automatically downloaded to the watch once you are on wi-fi and the watch is charging in addition, your Galaxy Watch will also download a vicinity of your area, a localized map automatically to your watch. And it will also tell you how much storage you have available in order to download all of that. So you will never kind of run out of storage here because you can delete the maps you have downloaded to your watch. You will see the additional icon offline maps and it's like the cloud and then you have a slash through the cloud, which means you are offline, off grid, whatever you want to call it. It will also tell you the size of the maps that you have downloaded to make sure you can delete or leave it in case you are running out of storage. All of that is possible. And once you have downloaded that, you basically just go out and this is how it works. Wait, wait, before I go and show you how this works, it is important to know that every time you download a map on your phone, it will automatically be downloaded to your Galaxy Watch, but not to worry, you can always delete that. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. As you can see, it guides me where to go. So, but what is going to happen when I turn around? Let me turn around and see what it does. It keeps directing me in the right direction. It doesn't have any voice activation. I don't have any voice guidance right now, but it works pretty fine. So all in all, it, this is a success, which means I'll see you in the next one.